Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and we're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by our guest, Dr. Ahmed Badr, the tourism expert. Dr. Ahmed, a very good afternoon to you, sir. Thank you very much, and a good afternoon to you and uh, all the audience. Thank you so much for joining us, Doctor. Now, first and foremost, a very uh, important historic event uh, last night uh, or yesterday evening, the procession of transferring uh, the Hufu boat uh, to its new exhibition place, which will be the Grand Egyptian Museum or GEM. How important was it to transfer the solar boat? And let's talk a bit about some of the uh, technological advancements that were used as specific equipment was brought in from different parts of the world uh, in order to allow the transfer of the boat in one piece. Uh, well, I have to say that was uh, uh, a great uh, event, as you mentioned, uh, moving such uh, a historical uh, masterpiece, the solar boat of uh, the great king uh, Cheops of Khofu, uh, from its uh, uh, current uh, display area, which was the pyramid, to the new uh, Grand Egyptian Museum. Yeah. Uh, Actually, the, the, the boat itself, the solar boat itself, the discovery of it and the assembly of the boat itself was, uh, let's say, a new miracle. Mm -hmm. uh, it was discovered uh, mid-50s yes. uh, by one of the uh, Egyptian uh, archaeologists, uh, Dr. Kamal Malak. Mm -hmm. uh, it was in pieces, almost uh, 1,300 pieces. Uh, with no plan or no, uh, as we say, blueprints uh, mm -hmm. to how to reassemble it. Uh, right. So it took almost 10 years uh, from the Egyptian uh, archaeologists mm. to reassemble the boat uh, into uh, what it uh, looks like now. Mm -hmm. So that was a great uh, 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 saying great uh, archaeological achievement yes. of the Egyptians. Now moving the boat as one piece uh, from the pyramids to the new Egyptian, uh, the Grand Egyptian Museum, mm -hmm. that's another uh, archaeological, uh, technological achievement uh, by the Egyptians. Uh, the boat is very large, mm. it, of course, it, it, uh, it's made out of wood, Yes. So it needs an, a very delicate extra care uh, moving it uh, to the gem or mm -hmm. the Grand Egyptian Museum. Yes. Uh, so uh, making uh, the equipment needed for that and having all the uh, experiences needed for that, yes. uh, that means that we are capable of uh, doing such big uh, events, such big movements, such mm -hmm. big, uh, whatever you call it, it's, it's really an amazing uh, thing, it's something, and I'm sure, of course, it, so many people were uh, wondering why it wasn't aired uh, by uh, television channels. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it took very long time, almost 12 hours. Yes, so yes apparently 10 yeah. to 12 hours, yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure uh, the whole thing was uh, filmed and then uh, it, will, it will be aired later, mm -hmm. but maybe within 30 minutes to one hour maximum. Yes. So everybody can see it instead of just uh, spending 12 mm -hmm. hours uh, sitting. For many people, this would be uh, a little bit uh, not interested, interesting. Mm -hmm. Right. So definitely when it will be aired later, it mm -hmm. will be a very interesting event. Absolutely. Event. A yeah, documentation, these, really, of this important process, yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All these events were the uh, anticipated uh, opening of the Avenue of the Spences in Luxor, with the opening of the Grand Egyptian Museum, with, of course, the uh, Golden uh, Mummies Parade. Mm -hmm. All these yes. events give... Uh, the tourism, uh, the Egyptian tourism, a very big push and very good uh, advertising and marketing uh, outside. Absolutely right. Dr. Ahmed, let's talk a bit about the importance of all these uh, transfers that we're talking about uh, to GEM or the Grand Egyptian Museum, all in preparation for, of course, the inauguration of the museum. Let's talk first 
about the value of this specific boat, one of the most important relics uh, of King Khufu. And also, I, I believe there's a second boat. What is um, uh, the, the fate of the second boat? Do you have any idea, Doctor? Uh, well, that's the importance of these boats is uh, historical, of course. They belong to uh, one of the uh, greatest uh, kings ever uh, mm -hmm. in history, not only in Egypt, but in uh, a human uh, history. Yes. Uh, the builder of the Great Pyramid, mm -hmm. which is uh, the most uh, sophisticated mm -hmm. uh, building ever built by humans. Yes. Uh, especially when. Uh, was built 4,500 years ago with no absolutely uh, any uh, technological uh, equipment like we have today. Mm -hmm. Even with the technology, even with the equipment we have today, we cannot build a building like that. So yes. this is the importance of that boat, and also it's the only uh, boat that was discovered, which many believe that uh, most or all the uh, kings had uh, boats like that. Mm -hmm. So the other boat, uh, so far, uh, I think it will remain uh, at the permit area. Mm -hmm. uh, we, will, we will have one, so it will be uh, an, you know, an, an add-up or another uh, attraction in mm -hmm. the uh, permit area. And the other boat will also uh, add to the attractions of the uh, Grand Duty Museum. So it, it's good to have uh, a wide selection of attractions yes. all over Egypt. So that gives us uh, a bigger portfolio of uh, the attractions. Mm, absolutely. Right, Doctor, one final question, uh, if I may. The Grand Egyptian Museum, a wonderful uh, project uh, right around the corner. We're all waiting for the inauguration of this museum. Expected to be the largest museum gathering Egyptian antiquities in the world. Could you tell mm -hmm. us a bit about uh, this uh, great feat? Uh, well, the, the, I have to say, not just us that are uh, very anxiously waiting yes. for the opening of the gym but uh, the whole world, and uh, I mean it, the whole world is waiting. As someone working in the travel industry, uh, whenever we uh, talk or uh, have any communication with any of the people working in the tourism industry outside uh, in the whole world, the, all, the first question is, when are you going to open that gym? Mm. So the whole world is, is really anxiously waiting for it. And uh, we all know that it was supposed to be open uh, end of 2020, but it was postponed, of course, to the, due to the uh, coronavirus yes. pandemic. Yes. And I hope it will be uh, open by end of 2021 or 2022 maximum. Mm -hmm. Just um, I know that uh, the Egyptian government and the Egyptian uh, president. Uh, Mr. Fatah Sisi is waiting for the right time, which Absolutely. is definitely, uh, we all understand, because we cannot do a grand opening like yeah. that, uh, that we want the whole world to, to come and uh, witness. Yes. witness and mm -hmm. join us, uh, join our uh, happiness with it. Uh, while there is a pandemic in the world and uh, yes. many people maybe may uh, apologize for not coming. Mm. So definitely uh, the, 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 the good time or the perfect time is one of the uh, key points of uh, the success of this uh, uh, grand uh, museum. Absolutely right. I'd like to thank you very, very much, Dr. Ahmed Badr, our tourism expert. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us and for your time. A very short break and we'll be right back for more. Stay tuned.